Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics 2 Tutor Volume 2. And in this section, we're going to cover the topic of conservation of energy in systems that have uh, simple harmonic motion. In other words, these systems that oscillate back and forth, the spring systems, for instance, that we've been talking about. Now, up until now, we've talked about the motion itself. We've talked about the position as a function of time, the velocity, the acceleration as a function of time, and really trying to understand how the motion looks. That's really what we've um, really been focusing on up till now. Now we're going to turn our attention to the same exact system. So you don't have to learn any new systems really here, but instead of talking about the position or the velocity, we're going to begin to talk about the energy, the kinetic energy, the potential energy, and also the fact that energy is conserved. By now in physics, you've figured out that energy is always conserved uh, here in physics. And so we're going to look at the the uh, potential energy and the kinetic energy and the way that when you add those two things together, the total energy of a system is always conserved. Same stuff you learned in Physics 1. It's just now we're going to apply it to systems that are oscillating back and forth, simple harmonic motion, okay? So what we're going to do is introduce the topic by analogy. So I'm going to take you back uh, to a place where I know you'll understand uh, how, how energy is, is conserved, and then we'll apply it to the simple harmonic motion cases uh, that we've dealt with so far. So remember back to Physics 1 or back last time you went to an amusement park. You should remember, or maybe if you don't here you'll learn it, that as you are on a roller coaster, you're at the top of the roller coaster and then you go on down to the bottom and then you pull on out and go back up again. Let's say, let's say that you're in a roller coaster that kind of does something like this. All right, now, when you're at the top of the roller coaster, you're higher off the ground, so we say you have more potential energy. And as you go over the edge, you pick up speed when you hit the, the bottom there, the very bottom of the valley, you're going the fastest that, that you're going to go on that roller coaster. So you have more kinetic energy. But, so you're, but you're lower to the ground there, so you have less potential energy. So basically, you've taken your potential energy you had, and you've converted it into kinetic energy, it's a simple thing, you know, you drop something and it gets faster and faster. That's, that's called uh, uh, energy, uh, really conversion of energy from potential to kinetic form, right? Now, as you pull out and go back up again, you slow down. So your kinetic energy gets less again, but you're climbing. And so as you climb, your potential energy increases. So you see all your life, and that's just one example. I mean, energy conservation is what's happening all around us all the time. But in this particular example, energy is... Uh, pass back and forth between potential and kinetic forms as you speed up and slow down and go up and down through the course. But the total energy uh, of the system, which would be the total energy you had at the top, the highest point that you could ever possibly be, that's the total energy of the system, that was a constant. You just converted it to kinetic form and then back to potential and back to kinetic as you go up and down and up and down. But the total energy never can get larger or smaller once you define the system there. That's called conservation of energy. You can't get energy from nowhere. You, you, you know, you always have what you start out with. Same thing with a battery. If a battery has a chemical reaction inside there, when you open it from the case, right, there's some chemistry inside of there, and that means that that, that battery is going to be able to deliver a certain amount of energy to whatever you put it in. You're never going to be able to get more energy out of that battery than what was inside there to begin with. That's conservation of energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and, con and sort of solidify this and apply it to the systems that we have. So just as a review, I've already even talked about this, but I, I really think it's important, so I want to draw it. Here's a roller coaster. You start at the top. Now let's, let's just say for giggles here, that we don't go quite as high the second time we go up, up the hill. So here's a, a car. It's just going to be a square here because I'm, I'm not an artist. But it's at rest, and it's a certain height here above the ground, right? Now, it goes forward. Eventually, of course, it's going to go down. It's going to pick up speed. And, of course, eventually the car is going to be down here, obviously still going in the same direction. It's going to pull out, and, you know, eventually it's going to make its way back up here. There's, there's nothing magical about this. But what I want to write down is basically exactly what we talked about a minute ago. Here at this point, we say, in general, I mean, if you had to sort of put some words to it, you have a higher potential energy. That's P-E, potential energy, because you're higher off the ground. And in general, you have a lower kinetic energy. 
because here in the roller coaster, you see you're, you're going up the track, click, 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 click. Well, you're not moving very fast up here. You're not actually moving much. You have a low, a relatively low kinetic energy. Now you race off and you go down to the bottom here. So at this point, what do you think you're going to have? You have a lower potential energy and a higher kinetic energy. And that's because as you race to the bottom, you've picked up speed, so you have a higher kinetic energy, but you've traded, you've gained speed, but you've given up your height above the ground. And height above the ground is MGH, which is basically your potential energy. So you have a lower potential energy because you're closer to the ground. Let's say the ground is right here under the coaster here. So you've, you've converted that potential uh, energy to kinetic form. Now as you pull out here, up at this point, okay, then in general, you're going to have a uh, higher potential energy and again a lower kinetic energy right so what you've done is you've taken your speed that you 